Hey there. Today I'm going to commentate my performance of a really beneficial, simple posture practice routine. As you can see, I'm in my garden and I'm standing just in front of the beehive there and that's bees you can see buzzing past. I find it really beneficial to practice in the, the nature of beauty. And I'm just standing there in the first posture, which is mountain posture, looking into the distance and really enjoying the morning sun. I'm focusing on my breathing, breathing full breaths, filling the whole of the lungs, in and out through the nose with a sense of calm awareness. I like to look in the distance when I perform these postures because in modern life there's so much close-up work that I believe this brings balance. Now I'm balancing the weight between both of my feet and between the front and the back of my feet. I'm keeping the best posture possible, my shoulders back, my head, my hips, my feet all in alignment. And now, having created that template of excellence, that right feel for the practice, I've taken my beads off and this is the sign that the practice is about to start. The posture that I'm adopting here is of course tree posture and it's important to make sure that the positioning of that foot on the standing leg is above or below the knee joint. This way you make sure that your weight is distributed correctly and there isn't any pressure on the joint bringing things out of alignment. It's a wonderful posture to develop balance and right now I'm once again looking into the distance, I'm performing a stretch from my shoulders, I'm opening that hip out and just like a tree now and again there might be some movement in the breeze. So it's okay to sway, but important to return to stability. And as you can see, there's some bees buzzing past me as if I really am a tree. All this time I'm keeping that yogic breath, that deep breathing going. It's good to place that heel as high up as possible when you perform this and to make sure there isn't any slack in the material of your trousers so that the foot doesn't drift downwards during the time you're in this posture. Again the goal is to open the hip on the leg that's bent. Stretch upwards. Now, my garden's on a bit of a slope, so I'm also having to compensate for this. And I think it's, it's really good to practice yoga in different environments and to make adapting to varied terrain part of that challenge. So, the posture that I'm moving into now, this is triangle posture and it's the first 
of this series that really has a significant stretch. So I'm using this as a warm-up and I'm just letting my body tell me when it's possible to move further into that posture. I'm looking up into the sky. You can't see it, but I'm actually looking at birds, seagulls circling above. Now I find that yoga asana or gymnastic postures require a real gentle approach. I find that it's counterproductive if I make a lot of efforts. So I just find the point where I can feel the body is being told to adapt. Again here you can see that as time goes on, letting the stretch extend naturally, but always within comfortable limits. all the time keeping that sense of calmness with a deep relaxed breath. Now I'm moving into extended angle posture and initially I was demonstrating a variant that you can use to begin with and now moving more into the full posture. And you can see this really is a strong stretch on the side there. But there's also a strength element. The, the bent leg and the hand are holding your weight. And this helps you warm up for any postures that come later on or any strength work. But also starts to build the strength. Once again, this is the variant for when you start beginning this posture. But as your flexibility and strength appears, you can move to the full extension like this. And during the practice, I tend to hold the posture for 20 of these relaxed breaths. Now, this posture is called the warrior. And this is a really good stable posture, very good for building strength. And you can add to the resistance by going deeper into the lunge. And so the deeper you go, uh, the more of a challenge it will be. Just make sure that your goal is to make the, the front thigh horizontal. So a bit lower than I'm performing here, but no lower than that. And make sure that the front knee never goes beyond the middle of the front foot. Now, it may not be easy to see here, but I'm actually looking upwards. And there's a, a stretch in the shoulders there. At this moment, I'm, I'm moving that stretch. I'm increasing the range of motion to bring my hands more into the vertical position. Now we move to the second of our warrior postures, 
So you can imagine a slight pulling on each arm, making sure that they're in alignment. Just holding that posture. Now it's important to know that your flexibility and your strength will vary depending on when you perform your exercises. So in the morning you'll be a bit more stiff and you may find things a little bit more strenuous. But I find this is also a wonderful fresh time to practice and really sets you up for the day. And you can see that there's ongoing adjustment taking place. So I'm making sure things are in alignment. And if the body wavers, I'm starting to bring it into balance. Now to show you the next posture, I'm turning around and as you can see, I'm putting my hands in a reverse prayer position and I'm arching my back so that I can perform what is known nowadays as a pyramid posture and as you can see if you keep things in perfect alignment if you have a slight backwards arch to your back and you you're honest with your stretch keep everything in alignment you don't need to do much to have a very intense stretch Now I mentioned that the garden's on a slight slope, so you'll see the angle here is slightly different. I have to, need to compensate. It seems to be far more visible with a short stance. Again, keeping everything relaxed, keeping that deep calm, smooth breath go. Now I'm doing some important preparatory work here, this moving some stones out from behind me and tucking my shirt in and that's because I'm about to do a shoulder stand. Inverted postures like this are really beneficial. I can't recommend them enough. I believe that extra circulation uh, to the brain really adds concentration. I believe the inversion helps you recover. Uh, it means that the circulation is different, uh, the change in pressure in the, the internal organs. I believe that this uh, brings a regenerative effect and helps keep you young and helps you recover. Now my goal here is to try to make this straight. So I'm trying to bring those legs straight and bring everything into alignment. And now we're moving into the plow posture. And I'm just letting those feet touch the ground behind me. And this posture again, it puts some pressure on the internal organs, which I believe has a uh, a beneficial tonifying effect. Keeping that breathing going and moving into this variation, just bending my knees, just letting this massage everything inside. 
Now this is a very relaxing posture. Again, holding each posture for just 20 breaths. Relaxing down now into the corpse posture. Just letting everything just move back into alignment and harmony and just keeping that feeling good. This is a beautiful, healthy and balanced routine. And if you're interested in learning more about these postures, I'm going to put a, a link to the book where they have been drawn from in the description box.